and good day. We are highly welcome for today's tutorial. We'll briefly talk about the standard costing today and we'll also look into the variance analysis and some specific areas which we need to know under the standard costing. Now, what is standard costing? Standard costing is a predetermined calculation on how much that will be under specific working condition. Then, under standard costing, We'll talk more on the standard cost and the actual cost. Now, the difference between the standard cost and the actual cost is what we know as variance. It is simply known as variance. So, should in case you ask in the exam what is variance, variance simply means the difference between the standard cost and the actual cost. So, let's quickly go into the variance analysis to analyze some facts about the variances. Now, we have the material variance. We have the labor variance and we have the overhead variances. Then, when the actual cost is less than the standard cost or the actual revenue is greater than the standard revenue, then it is favorable. It is always represented with a positive sign. Then, when the actual cost is greater than the standard cost or the actual revenue is lesser than the standard revenue, we say it is adverse, always represented with a negative sign. Let me quickly tell us some things under the material variances and the labor variances specifically. Now, as I earlier told us, we said we have this, we have this sign, I have this, and we also have this. I will say that when the actual cost, when the actual cost is less than the standard cost, or the actual revenue is greater than the standard revenue, we say it is favorable. Okay, and it is always noted with the positive sign. Now, we we'll also say when the actual cost is greater than the standard cost or the actual revenue is less than the standard revenue, we say it is what? Adverse. It is adverse and it is always represented with the negative sign. Now, as I told us, we we'll talk mainly on the material variance and the labor variance. Now, coming to the material variances. Material variance. Under the material variance, we have the material material cost variance. We have the material price variance. And we also have the material usage variance. Now under the material, always what? The standard cost minus the actual cost. Remember I told us that variance analysis has to do with the difference between the standard cost and the actual cost. So, under the material price variance, the formula for this is what? We now have our actual quantity, then in brackets, the standard price minus the actual price. Now, take a good look at this very well. We can see we have the standard cost and the actual cost. Here we have the standard price and the actual price. Then usage variance, we have the standard price. Then in brackets, we have what? The standard quantity minus the actual quantity. So each time you have to solve any question under the material price variance, you will make use of this formula because the question will always tell you which figure you are meant to use. So you need to have an idea of how to calculate the variances. Now, talking about the labor variances, the labor variances. Now, it is also three in number as well. We'll look into the labor cost variance, then the labor rate variances, and the labor efficiency variances and the labor efficiency variance. Now, for the labor cost variance, the labor cost variance is also the standard cost minus the actual cost, just like what we have here. You get it? Now, under the labor rate variances, remember, rate here, we're not talking about hours. We'll be working with the hours. So, rate here, we have our AH, which represents our actual R. The actual R minus the standard rates minus the actual rates, minus the actual rates. That is the formula. Then for labor efficiency variance, the formula for labor efficiency variance is now our standard rates 
Then in brackets, we have what? Our standard R minus our actual R. Now, to analyze what I have here on the board, you will come to realize that we always have the standard costs. The standard. You can always get the standard minus the actual. As I told us, variance has to do with the difference between the standard cost and the actual cost, which is exactly what we are doing here. The difference between the standard cost and the actual cost. Standard price and the actual price. Standard quantity and the actual quantity. Just like in the question. Material cost variance. We have the standard cost minus the actual cost. Material price variance. We have the standard price minus the actual price. The material usage variance. This usage now is now being calculated using the quantity. You get it? So we now have what? A standard quantity minus the actual quantity. Just in a nutshell, I just want to introduce us to standard costing. In the next video, we'll do some calculations. We'll solve some questions to help you understand standard costing very well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more because we have a lot of topics to upload here for you on YouTube. We wish you the best in all you do. And if you have questions or you need clarifications, you send us a call. We are there to give you the best. Meet you on top and good luck in your exams. Have a nice day.